All right, so big knives, yeah, you can slash. Do massive damage with them. Small knives, not so much. And get a little, little tippy. We, we see this kind of shit all the time. Now, let me remove that. Uh, when it comes to slashing, when it, with any sort of pocket knife, I'm a big believer in slashing across the bridge. So to put this in kind of Medusa terms, I'm not looking to cut him to do any damage that is lethal yet. What I'm doing is I'm cutting get in on him. I'm trying to, whatever is in this weapon arm, this is going to let me, it's essentially using the knife as shock. Then you can get your latch. However, if we're in a grappling situation like this and we're tied up, I might not be able to, because he's, you know, he's got my arm on the other side exactly in the same way. So while we're fighting and I'm driving knees and doing whatever, I might take my knife and swap hands, index it on something like a bicep, and cut, not wildly slash. So I'm going to get it in there, get it at those tendons at the wrist, and with a very deliberate cut, disconnect that mechanism. Now... With a longer knife, like in Filipino martial arts, barong, um, or hell, let's take a, you know, like a gnunzing. This makes perfect sense. So you've got the leverage and the power. Same thing for the legs, you know, cutting that. But uh, when it comes to doing this same idea with a small knife, you want to look for placement and get your cuts in. Now, we're here. My knife, for some reason, is bound up. You know, I'm having trouble getting around this arm. Sure, I'm be shoving shit into his eyes, biting him. But at the same time, I can cut that tendon right there, render that arm useless. And now, I can start putting it in there with some vigor. It's... Move to something like a uh, you know, box cutter like you're talking about or, or a utility knife. Same sort of thing. Or even a razor, you know, like with, with razor fighting. You're, you're in this tie-up. He's strong. He's fighting. He's got me. I'm going to take, instead of, can't really get a good stab, whatever, the fastest way to clear this is to put that blade on him and cut. Not slash, but put it on him and cut, just like you would a steak. And then you can cut and feed. Boom! Just like that. And, and you know, look, I've just cut the bicep armpit. So that's kind of that's kind of what the uh, whole biomechanical cutting thing is about. It's weakening the limb uh, that you're, you're having to deal with to get the stuff. Um, this isn't going to be as big an issue for guys your size, but you take a guy like Ryan that somebody's going to, you know, Ryan Rosado, that somebody's going to wrap up and put around, he's got to deal with all of that, and especially if the shock doesn't work, because it's a possibility, so you have to have other options. You know, they're going for your knife, they manage to get that two-on-one grip on your hand or whatever, you know, practicing doing things like rolling the knife around the arm so that you can cut that, or one of my favorites from underneath, driving it up into the arm when they grab it, uh, just slide that up through the arm. Stuff like that. That's what we're thinking about with biomechanical cutting. Not, uh, not, ooh, I'm gonna target your arm, you know, from this distant slash and get any real damage, because that don't fucking work. Not if you're wearing clothes.